I think it it's might Norman. be a little bit problematic that we choose talking. Northern voices whenever we choose stupid <laughs> characters. <laughs> get Oh, you. Who wants some men? You! You oh, look me. at me, buddy! <laughs> oh. Who's laughing now? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, I'm still laughing. Are you sick of the current gaming drought and you're looking for something new to play with your friends? Now, if I were to say the phrase Warhammer 40,000, you're probably picturing that one Henry Cavill interview. Let's talk about what you guys personally geek out about. Henry, let's start with you. The easy answer is um, Warhammer 40,000. That is my my jam. And you'll be reacting in one of two ways. One, you adore everything Warhammer and you're ready for any tidbit of information regarding the Emperor or which army I've gone with so you can tell me yours. Or two, you're just about ready to tab out because 40k is a step too far down that nerdy rabbit hole. Well, whichever camp you're in, I implore you to give this video a shot because today I'm going to be talking to you about Darktide. Darktide is a gritty first person co-op shooter with up to four players per team and a number of classes and races available which you could customize to your liking. Each class comes with their own set of benefits, skills, and associated weapons. The four different classes are Sharpshooter, Psychonetic, Preacher, and Skullbreaker, which can fit into any number of different playstyles. The phrase used by the developers is High Octane Hybrid Combat, and that would be a mixture of gunplay and melee weapons. Melee? 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 I... Your guess is as good as mine. Melee. If that all just sounds like words and it makes it easier to picture, think of Left 4 Dead but set in the gritty Space Crusade setting of the 40k universe. Now I have never been particularly interested in 40k myself, but I adored Vermintide and I am thoroughly enjoying this game, as it is much more of the same. But rather than shiving rats like in true London fashion, you're unloading rounds into the heretic horde. Once you create your character or make the most ridiculous custom abomination to feature in cutscenes, you'll be met by the first cutscene in the short tutorial section. This section only takes about 15 to 20 minutes so before you decide on a time to start this game with your friends, get this section under your belt. Post tutorial, you'll be in the home base section and you have free reign to choose whichever missions you want to take next. You'll need to progress through some missions and level up your character first thing as various aspects of the home base will be locked behind character progression. You select your desired mission from the bounty board to match your current level of your squad. Too difficult or with too many modifiers and you will get your booty plundered. I speak from experience. So start slow and build your way up once you get a little more comfortable. The general the aim of the game is to make your way through hordes of enemies whilst completing some form of overarching objective, whether that be investigation, repair, espionage, or assassination. Survive that onslaught and make it to the shuttle for extraction. Obviously, the more you play, the better gear will become available as per your level cap and as your character skills level up, you'll be able to tackle more and more difficult encounters. Each class has their own skill tree and you can allocate your levels accordingly to which playstyle and abilities you enjoy the most. But before we move on to some more gameplay and my thoughts on the game as a whole, I must say my favorite aspect of the game is these fucking organs, man. Just listen. How do you invite again? Also, why do the organs go so loud? I mean, so hard. They're so good. If you're enjoying the video, please consider liking and subscribing because it's totally free and it really helps out the channel. Didn't mean to fucking punch the desk, ow. But back to the video though, you can take this game as seriously as you want to. If you want to have the perfect comms and team composition, you can do that. And if you want to grind out some seriously heinous weapons and skills with min-max stats and perks, by all means, dive in. Or if you're like me and you've skipped every cutscene related to the story, yes, there is a story to this game, you can spawn into a run as four Ogrins massively under-leveled with nothing but your wacky stick and your will to have a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Whacking proper good, boys! Whacking proper good, lad. Proper tingly, lad. Oh, yeah, but we look a lot of dirt in there. This is what I live for! That's <laughs> what the doctor ordered! Whack! Clap them up, lad. Stop it in yourselves! 
Stop it in your zone. In terms of the gameplay itself, although I have a fairly beefy PC, this game actually runs pretty damn well, and it looks beautiful amidst the grit, especially within the home base area. The gameplay flows really nicely and isn't overly complex or complicated, with clear direction and plenty of enemies to satiate that craving for chaos. Hello, love. Goodbye, love. My one complaint, if I had one, would be that for £33 on Steam as of this recording, it is a fairly steep price for a fairly repetitive game. Yes, there are plenty of different mission types, enemies, and a variety of maps. The basic goal to every mission is to commit war crimes and go home, which this game absolutely delivers in. So if you're looking for a sublime storytelling co-op experience, Dark Tide may not be for you, as in that department it could be said to be lacking. But that's not what this game was built for, at least not in my opinion. This game was built for the war crimes, and the war crimes will be there for you if you want them. To be honest, I have not sunk enough hours into the game to see what the end game is like, but I do certainly intend to get closer. Furthermore, if you're already paying for Xbox Game Pass, or if you're like me and you've forgotten to cancel it for the 38th month in a row, it's totally worth booting up with some buddies when you have some time. If this is the last time that I see you on the channel, thank you so much for watching this video, Internet Stranger. You are a legend and I really appreciate it. But if you do decide to return to my tiny corner of the interwebs, I will see you in the next video and much love. I took it off my toilet. <laughs> Take up so much of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you counting on your fingers, Tom? How many fingers have got? One.